Director of the Center of Excellence in Nanotechnology, or COEN, of the Asian Institute of Technology, said Thailand has a potential to serve as a major hub of research in nanotechnology in ASEAN. Speaking at the nanotechnology portfolio release, Cohen Director Professor Joy Deep Dutta said Thailand has a competitive edge in nanotechnology research as Thailand has 10 years of experience and has support from the government. Thailand established the National Nanotechnology Centre in 2003 and the Thailand Nanotechnology Society in 2011. Professor Dutta said both organisations played a major role in shaping up Thailand's nanotechnology development. Think about it, lighter bicycle, lighter rackets for tennis, nicer balls for the golf. These are consumer products which are already being used. However, now we will see other value-added products that will come up and I'm confident that Thailand could have a very, very active role to play in the ASEAN region by utilizing nanotechnology for economic prowess. The portfolio released yesterday showcased 16 products developed at AIT in the past five years, which range from handheld solar water purifiers to gas sensors to nanoparticle inject printer. Of the 16 products, four patents were applied, while seven other technologies were successfully demonstrated. The rest of the products were completed and ready for market release. The only way Thailand can develop in the future is through value addition in its products and processes. So industries have to embrace new technologies in order to survive, become economically viable and also to compete with the ASEAN and the world as at large. The portfolio released yesterday was held to mark the 5th anniversary of Cohen, as well as the 52nd anniversary of the Asian Institute of Technology, or AIT. Professor Dutta said the event is a culmination of five years of extensive research in the Cohen, which is part of Thailand's National Nanotechnology Centre of the National Science and Technology Development Agency.